How can a neep or tumchy lantern to yourself? Okay, here are the stages of carving a Halloween lantern. Yin, gather your neep or tumchy, hack and board, and any eldritch stories you can mind, along with horror pictures. Doing this in the licht of a full moon, busk it as a geyser, is best, but you didn't hate it. One, preferably by the light of a full moon, Gather your turnip, chopping board and all the spooky stories and horror movies you have. Dressing up in Halloween costume is optional, but preferable. Two, Sit your neep on the hacking board and see that you log into a bit creepy music or the soon track will do your favourite horror picture. 2. Set your turnip on the chopping board. Make sure that you can listen to some creepy music or the soundtrack to your favourite horror film. 3. Slice the tap for your neep. 3. Slice the top off your turnip. 4. Use a spoon or other utensil to help the flesh out the neep. Lay a rim at least yin centimetre. Spoons will tack for langer and will hurt your fingers be it'll take a heese for kenning, you suffer for your hurt. 4. Use a spoon or a chisel to dig out the flesh of the vegetable. Leave a rim of at least one centimetre. Spoons will take much longer and hurt your fingers, but will give a satisfying sense of suffering for your art. 5. Keep the howket flesh by for eking to stovies or a brie or just hod on tilt for after and pelt unwanted geysers. 5. Keep the dugout flesh to add to stew or soup, or keep it to fling at unwanted trick-or-treaters later. 6. Carve the flesh for the tap to make a booed lid. Now take a rest, and when it's necessary, droop your serhons in warm water. 6. Carve the flesh from the top of the... The 6. Carve the flesh from the top to create a curved lid. Now have a rest, and if necessary, soak aching hands in warm water. 7. Bore the sides of the lantern for to mark holes, for een, a mouth, and a string honnel that lets you carry it about the neighbourhood. Able in this stage will hear you on nettles, because you could either lose fingers or else the hail lantern could get cindered through a rang cut, all after knocking your pan in and all. 7. Cut through the sides of the body of the lantern to create holes for eyes, mouth and a string handle if you want to carry it around the neighbourhood. This stage is possibly the most exciting, as this is where fingers may be sliced off, or the whole lantern inadvertently sliced in two, causing the destruction of several hours' work. Echt. Put a small connel inside the leery, or a muckleyan gin you're wanting to burn the lid. 8. Place a small candle inside the lamp, or a large candle if you want to burn the lid. 9. Lift the connel, put the lid on top of the lantern, stone back and see what bra it looks. Soon you can enjoy the guff a singe neep. Just the rich setting for all your Halloween crack. 9. Light the candle, place lid on top of lantern, stand back and admire. Soon you'll be able to enjoy the smell of singed turnip, the perfect background for all your Halloween stories. <laughs>